Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back on Foolcraft 3. All right, got good stuff to go and do today. Uh, you know, so kind of first thing is, let's go take care of our jetpack. I should have everything I need uh, to go ahead and get the jet plate. So I've been working hard in the background, I think. I think, yeah, okay, so that's all that comes up there. I think I've got everything. All right, flexed thrusters. I'm going to need, oh yeah, i got to make the armor plating. Uh, all right, so right here, I'm going to need uh, eight, ten, I don't know, ten maybe? Uh, really? I don't have signalum nuggets? Do I have signalum? Okay, hold on, slight change. I'm not used to having to craft nuggets because most everything is in one of these guys. So let's put all this stuff away. All right, uh, Signalum, you can live right there now. Cool. That's the only hard part once you start a drawer network, right? Like, what is in and out of the drawers? All right, let's check this out here. So, this flexed armor plating, I feel like it's 12. I feel like it's 12. Uh, but let's do this. So, let's go ahead and make the chest piece, right? Real easy. And get this guy. All right, throw those back. And jet plate. All right, so then we got to make these. And I've already made the resonant thrusters, so there's a pair of those. Got this, got that. I should have a flux pack, right? I should have this guy, yeah, because that was just a pain to make. And then we've got our regular resonant jet pack. So we should be good to go. We should be good to go for the jet plate. Uh, let's see, you and you. There we go, nice, all right. So I definitely wanted this guy because, whoa, the, <laughs> the flight is better if you turn hover on. I uh, did do a little bit of work around the base. You know, I've got myself my uh, cryothium process set up and I do have one over here for water because I needed a whole ton of black concrete. And yes, you can guess what I'm going to do with black concrete. We're going to go void mining. So I'm going to take all of this good stuff and let's go find a spot where we can set up. Wow, that's fast. Zoom! Where we can set up a couple of void miners. Do I want them in the back? Yeah, you know what? I think they might look good, like right back here, right? Let's get uh, let's get chunk boundaries on. Uh, it's not ideal, right? They'd be a little too close to the buildings. All right. Sorry, let's go over here. How about... Ooh, how about right here? One two right one two and three yeah i like that okay so i'm gonna keep chunk boundaries on for a second because i had an idea and i wanted to try something so let's say that right here is the middle right could i do something like this let's see i'm on y68 all right so y68 so i'm gonna make this a one by one by uh you know we'll just make it 70 and we'll go down like something like this, like, uh, oh, no, minus 37 and offset of zero, offset of zero, something like that. I think that should work, right? I just want to know what happens if I do this, right? So it did a thing. And, oh, you know, I always forget. I always forget. Yeah, right there. Very cool, right? So got my shaft. Looks like down to bedrock. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know, what would it take? Hold on a second. Let's particles, right? What would it take to turn off? Yeah, this right here. Uh, okay, so I'm just thinking that the jet exhaust gets kind of annoying. Could we do this? Could we just get one of these uh, none particle customizers, right? And craft with a jet pack. Now, do you work with a jet plate? Uh, it does not appear so. Well, that's disappointing, right? Maybe I could do it in here. Let's just check. There. Oh, 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 oh. maybe it had to be up and down. All right. That might make it better for everybody, right? Yeah, I like that. Okay. So let's get our void mining up here. And, you know, I'm probably going to want some building blocks. Uh, let me just grab some bricks, and I'm pretty sure the tier one of everything goes up like four levels. And so I'm going to start with an ore miner. Yeah, I think right here is a good spot. So let's get the ore miner, 
and we'll assemble this guy. I should have all of the parts. Uh, am I out of range? There we go. I should have all of the parts for this. Right? So, I think you're complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the laser animation. Okay. So, then we'll come over to the next chunk. All right. I like this, right? Let's just get everybody moved around. So, I think I did it on that square. Right? And right there. And go. I like that. Right? Makes it nice and easy. And there we go. Oh, we got the water. That's the water. All right. Well, we can do this. How about that? And hopefully that will make it all the way down. All right. So, boy, I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like that's right at all. Right? Right here is the center. Oh, no. No, no. I got it right. All right. Jet plate, a little too good. All right. So you are going to be a resource miner. Right? And let's get you going on. Uh, let's take that out. And go, baby, go. Drill, baby, drill. Right? Get you all assimilated. All right. I saw your animation come on. And now the last one. So let's see. It is, where is it? Right there. Moving all of this stuff around. I like this method to bore the holes. I mean, not that it's a big deal, but it's just something different. Right? Are you even sending power? Brah. All right. Take you and you. Take that out. Oop, I already had a hole. They already had a hole here. Where do you go? Where do you go? No, I didn't already have a hole. I just drilled the hole. Okay. I just saw the light down there. I'm like, uh, what's going on? All right. So get this guy going. Two, three, four. Right? Just like that. And for the first time, the first time I'm going to make a botanic one, I've never had a reason to make one of these. And I'm making it so we can get lots and lots of poppies, right? And poppies are the thing that we need. All right, so that dude's assembled. Very cool. Now, what I ought to do here, let's just take a look here. Poppy, right? Because I need this flower, which tells me, oh, there isn't a preferred lens for it, right? Ah, there's no preferred lens for it. So 0.29. Man, we're about to get every flower in the world. But that's all right. Now, let's see. Over here, you're the resource miner, right? So let's take this lens and let's see. Do I have a little bit of bone meal, right? I think I want this one, and I can turn F9 off. I think I want this one to be a white lens, and that way we get um, mica, right? All right. Let's see. Right here. And get that guy, and there's nothing I can do about this one. All right, so next part is, I'm going to go ahead and throw energy cells on top of this. And let's see. Let's get uh, in from the top, out to the bottom. Something like that. Right, and I'll throw one on top of you. And you're in and out already, and I'll upgrade you to that tier. And let's see, right here. Hopefully this will store enough power that it makes it through the night because I'm going to go ahead and solar these guys. I think this makes for a nice pairing of having these guys together. All right, so let's get this and build, baby, build. And right there, I think, yeah, I saw structure complete for like a millisecond, right? And it is mining, okay? It is mining, which makes me think, by the way, I do need to order up a couple of ender chests. Uh, yeah, let's get these guys. Right? Come on. Uh, there's one. Oh, black, black, black. Oh, it's set on ore dictionary. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, I can fix that, but I'll fix the pattern later. Right? And one, two, three. Okay, so I can fix all of that. Uh, right here. All right, let's... Oh. Let's go ahead and build this one. And are you complete? I feel like you're complete. You look complete. All right. And the last one. Why do I have so many solar cells? I must have miscounted somewhere. Either that or I was thinking they're going to be a lot bigger than they were. Oh, nuts. All right. Right there. I'm just trying to stay under it, right? 
All right, so I think that'll work right there. I think that'll work. Oh, no! No! I'm one, one short, right? Structure frame. Well, we can order these guys up. Let's see, right there. And I know it's probably, like, stuck to the ceiling somewhere. Every once in a while, I find these blocks where they're not supposed to be. Right? So, right there. And that should work. All right, so let's get our chest... Yeah, let's sort all of these guys, right? And let's put you down. And where's my meal of the bone? Right? So white, white, white. Nope. White, white, white is always import. Right? So you and you and you. And can I vein mine you? Yes, I can. All right. And we'll chuck a chest on each one of you. And we should start getting stuff. And then I can let them run, obviously, during the daytime. But then we should have all of our void mining going on. Very cool. I like that. All right. So somehow got a lot of solar cells left over. Hmm. Total miscount. Okay. We are going to use them. That's for sure. Man, that's good. That is so nice and fast. All right. Right. Okay. Just making sure I didn't leave anything behind. All right. Let's empty all of this stuff out. I don't think I need this guy, but I'm going to carry it with me. I got the backpack space. All right. Uh, next couple of things I'd like to do is, you know what? I want to change my weapons, and I do want to go with Ender I.O. I'm not ready for uh, Mega Loot yet, but I will be. But for right now, you know, I'd like to get the Dark Bow. I really like that. Although some of this looks kind of nice. Right? So right here, the Dark Bow... I already made a skeletal contractor. Holy cow, look at all the dark boots we got. Holy cow. Where are we getting all the dark boots? I must have been picking them up as I went along. Is there, uh, is there anything I could do with that? Is there any use on this whatsoever? No. It'd be nice if I could grind them back down or something. All right, so I'm going to need myself a couple of buckets because to get the dark bow... I'm going to need nutrient distillation. So I just set up this uh, vat right here just so I could grab a couple of buckets. I'm not really planning on a lot with nutrient distillation. Uh, you know, we've got other power sources in the pack, right? So I should be able to do something like this. Yeah, get a nutritious stick, right? Right there, got two of those. All right. And let's grab the dark bow. Very cool. And I should have, yeah, I should have some stuff right here. And actually, you know what? Let's change our sword out, too. Let's just go whole hog. I like this stuff anyways, right? All right. So let's see. I am going to need, oh, where's my tome? Bro, where's my tome? Did I throw my tome back in here? Sure enough, I did. All right. So I'm just going to empower this real fast. Give me just a second. All right. So got the bow built. Got it up to Empowered 4, and you know, I'll enchant it with all kinds of stuff later on. So, Crystal Bow, thank you for playing. You're out. Now, I was thinking, before I make the Ender, yeah, we've been picking them up like crazy, right? Yeah, right there. Empowered 4 and Travel. Well, I mean, that takes care of that right there. Although, I don't tend to use the Travel on the sword, but, you know, that'll work. Now, having to deal with the uh, experience... Let's see, where is the experience? Did I already pick it up? Wasn't there a drum right here somewhere? And I could swear that there was a drum of XP right here. Either way, we need to handle it, right? And so uh, I think good storage is going to be the experience obelisk. Let's see. Oh, we're not far. We're not far at all, right? Let's get an experience rod. All right, bang, experience obelisk. And I'd like to put this on a storage bus, right? So this is an idea from, uh, from Eddie over in the uh, Ender.io Discord. Thanks, bro. You know, putting these two together, I've never done this, so I want to try it. Now, here's the problem, is all of the experience that we're getting is coming in right over here, is this right here. It's Essence. I got 2 million millibuckets of Essence. Uh, that's not going to work out so well. However, there is a block, right? So let's take a look. Essence from Industrial Foregoing 
has a fluid dictionary conversion, right? So there's a block of some kind, and let's see if we could get this, right? Fluid uh, dictionary. Where is it? Right there. So what do I have? Almost everything. Literally just an iron gear? Cool. Right? So let's play with this thing for a second, because never really had the need. Uh, and you know, maybe I'll put you right here. And we'll get uh, we'll get a fluid conduit, right? There's one right there. And let's see. You don't automatically push and pull, do you? No, you don't. All right, so if I do something like this, right, I can have you extract. You're the only real fluid channel. And I'll have you insert. How about that? Right? And so select the next fluid. How does this work? Fluid empty, right? There should be some way. I'm just not understanding here the interface. None selected. Fluid empty. Mm, how do I use this thing? Right? Run, stop, that kind of stuff. Oh, cool. Hey, look. It disconnects when you do that. Select next fluid. Oh, right there. Liquid XP, right? And then... Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so from essence to, not essence of knowledge, not essence of knowledge, liquid XP, right? Okay, well, there's essence of knowledge again. Now, I wonder if this guy can just absorb that, right? Can you just pull? Uh, so let's check this out. Let's learn. Pull. Obelisk is empty. Okay. Will you empty if I break you and put you back, right? And now we know. All right, so pause. And you are essence, and you're going to, right, liquid XP. I think that's how I want you. And then you'll go like this, and you're filling up. Very cool. All right. Oh, and I got refined storage right here. So all I need is a little bit of cable, right? And let's try this. Let's try this. So. I'm going to need a bucket of this somehow, right? I need a bucket. Well, let's just put it on storage here, and let's see what happens. Uh, no good way. No good way around. Maybe something like that. Oop, don't need that one. All right. So let's see. You are fluid, and it looks like it's working. It looks like it because it's reading it, right? And you're just going to go ahead and convert. All right, well, let's go back to a room that's got a fluid grid in it, right? You've got a fluid grid here somewhere. Cool, and I can see it right there, liquid XP. Nice, all right. And then I should be able to just uh, take out my XP right here. Nice, I like that. Okay, very cool. So now I can deal with all of that. Well, I like that. I never thought about putting one of these on a storage bus. And then I could always convert it back, right? Like I can run another one of those and convert it back if I wanted to do a spawner. Mm, and you know what? I do want to do a spawner. Do I have time? I think I've got time for a quick spawner. Uh, which to make a spawner, I'm going to need pink slime, which means I'm going to need a slaughterhouse. Right? We should be able to rip out a slaughterhouse pretty fast. And slaughterhouse really shouldn't be a big deal uh, to get done. Right? So, oh, so close. I must have iron swords on delete. Right? I've got to. I have to. Because that's like the second time that's happened. All right. So let's do this. Let's get a slaughterhouse. Right? Right there. Okay. Mob. What is it? Mob slaughter factory. All right, very cool, and we should be able to come over here. Yeah, we should be able to just exchange this dude. Uh, let's turn off all the mobs for a second. Right, take all of that. Let's see, uh, right there. Right, and you should get stuff. And you know what, I, I don't want you to, yeah, I don't want you to go ahead and export at the moment. Right, I really only need this. And you should be, you should be slaughtering away. All right, there we go. Right, you and you. 
slaughter all those guys. I'll turn the lights off. Yeah, that's what we need. All right. Because I would like to dupe some mobs, right? So what is the uh, mob duplicator? Right? So it's just this stuff right here. I probably can get that, right? Duplicator. Uh, so right there. Almost. Just got to make a couple of these. All right. And uh, I want to use this one. All right. Mob duplicator. And then I'm just going to need some Xnet stuff. Right. So uh, a couple of connectors and some cable. And let's see how you're doing. Oh, dude, you've already got exactly what I need. All right. So you. Uh, well, go ahead and slaughter everybody. Right. And we'll turn. Oh, that was off. All right. And we can grab a couple of buckets here. I can grab a couple of buckets. Yeah. And I should be able to do this. I should be able to pull out the pink slime, pull out liquid meat. Right? And, you know, for the moment... Yeah, for the moment. So, can I get... Uh, can I get some black hole tanks? Let's do this. Black. That's a black hole unit. Black hole tank. Right? So, let's grab a pair of these guys. And... Yeah, I might as well just continue to line them up. You and you, right? And so I can set your liquid meat, right? And I guess I'll use my pink slime to set this. And we'll go ahead and get some fluid conduits, right? I might as well store it down here as well, right? So something like this. And you should be able to insert and insert. And that should work all by itself. Yeah, that should. And then I'll come back up here, and I'll turn this dude, right? So now, we'll let you drain right on out, right? Do I still have that bucket? Do I still have the bucket? Because I do need one of these. And why are you not going down? Why are you not going down? You should be, yeah, just like that, pink slime, right? And you're on insert... I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Why the pink slime's not going down, but not a big deal. So the last thing is I'm going to want to get myself a mob, whatever it is. Mob imprisonment tool. And let's go imprison a pink slime. Now you have all kinds of room uh, to be able to spread out. Right? And there it is. That's like the fastest that's ever happened. Ever. Right? All right. I got my pink slime. Oh, cool. Hey, it turns pink. Nice. All right. And is it because of this? I don't know. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this and I'm going to go ahead and set up the mob duplicator. So give me just a second. All right. So got it all wired up. And, you know, I decided to keep them both. So for right now, I'm going to let the mob slaughter factory run. And you know what? We might as well eat the mobs, right? So let's do this. Let's do uh, at industrial foregoing and get this dude right here, the meat feeder, right? And then I can come downstairs. Now, can I? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, I'll have to fix this. Hold on. Right. Extract. Suck you right back out of the tank. All right. So I might have to make some filters just for that. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll go make some filters. Not a big deal. But that's kind of the plan, right? So now I can spawn mobs, and let's go ahead and get this dude a spawning. Right? So right in here, you go ahead, and we're going to get all kinds of pink slimes. And so for the moment, you can stop, and you can go, and I'll get all your pink slime balls. Nice! That's awesome. So we got food, pink slime working on the materials with these guys, and got myself a new bow. Very cool. So I think I'm going to call it there for today. I'm uh, 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hey, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then I will see you in the next episode.